Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I got here a uh, MacBook Pro that is wasn't turning on. Got to resolve the repair, so I'm going to give you a little summary of, of what happened uh, with this one here. So we got a MacBook Pro. This is an A1502-2015. And what happened here is the customer spilled some liquid. Again, because he had been here before, he had spilled some liquid before. So he had spilled some liquid, he said kind of a, not a lot, like a little splash on the keyboard trackpad area. He cleaned it up, computer, you know, kept working. Uh, I think he said for about two weeks, two days. Uh, for a couple days, and then it died out. He also kind of gave us a little clue, he said that the trackpad was kind of failing a little bit before it failed before it turned off and never turned back on and those are the tips we had now on this unit I had made a prior video uh, about the relationship of the trackpad with the keyboard even though they're not connected so you got some Macs that run I think it's on the airs that you have the keyboard flex connected to the trackpad and then to the board this one is not like that here you got the keyboard Connected directly to the board, keyboard flex, and then you have the trackpad flex right here, connected directly to the board. So there's not a relationship, you know, there. Obviously, there's one internal when we come down to the the problem that we had. So when it it came in, no power on, uh, green light on the charger, you know, that was normal. So one of the things you want to do with these is disconnect the battery if you disconnect the battery and apply a charge to it power to it uh, it'll turn on by itself so you don't need a jumper or anything like that so well first actually we you know took a look back here we didn't find anything you know any recent kind of damage to it all the sensors are red but this computer has been here before which we had to change the battery and what else we, did? we, we changed the battery the trackpad I believe on this from the last time that it was here but either way yeah all the sensors are red all of them one two three yeah all the sensors are red but nothing visible and obviously when you ask a customer uh, that had a liquid spill ask them you know how how where because that's going to give you a little bit of a clue if it's kind of towards the top here remember this keyboard is pretty locked down on the back there's you know the, the the backlight and then it's sealed with that black you know film on the back so the chances of liquid coming through here and hitting the board I mean they're very low uh, the trackpad though doesn't have a seal so yeah if you get liquid here on this trackpad that's gonna go pretty much um, not straight down because these these have a little plate but that one is gonna get through um, if it got liquid anywhere towards the back then it's going to be sucked in in the fan and that's where you're going to see you know all the liquid exposure down here so this one really didn't have anything like that he mentioned it was just like a mild little splash so we said well let's take a look maybe we have some luck with it and apparently we did so knowing that this unit had uh, the problem or, or has that issue that the trackpad is related to it and he gave me the clue about the trackpad being bad. I said, maybe, again, maybe it's a trackpad issue with trackpad flex. So we're going to take a look. So we uh, disconnected the battery, applied uh, power uh, to the port, and yes, it, you know, it turned on. So unit turned on, uh, and then from there, press the power button, power button turns it off. Interesting. Put the battery, put the battery back on. Applied power doesn't turn on. Okay, so if that's one of the issues that you're having, one of the first things you want to do is just take the battery off, and that's going to force it on. So if you have a, a problem with your keyboard, a problem with the power button, which these power buttons on these are on the keyboard, that kind of bypasses uh, that there. So we did get it to power on. Power button shuts it down, but the power button won't turn it back on. And that's the exact issue that we had on this model 
couple of years ago, I have a, a video on me. So we just took a look at that. First thing, um, visually didn't see anything. Took the flex out. And you're not going to be able to see this here, but I'll, I'll post a picture of the flex. I don't know how well that's going to... No, we'll post a picture, and you'll see it. Actually, you can see it up here. Let's see if I can move the camera up. So if you go right there, that's the flex right there. So you see it's got a you know burn mark. You kind of see that right in the middle there? That it's got a little burn mark. So I had another flex here from uh, parts, and I just threw that on there. Pop that in there, and this one just goes right over the top, so it didn't have to remove the battery or anything like that. Uh, it goes right over the top. It's got a little plate, connects right here, it connects back over there. And, you know, we're in luck. The, well, we're still going to run a, a full, you know, test on the whole unit, but pretty much. You know, the trackpad's working, right click, or two finger click, or right click, left click. Where are we at? Yeah. Battery's charged up, keyboard is working. Uh, now it powers on and powers off. So we're going to keep running the full, the rest of the tests on it. But that's my tip for you there today. If you got one of these units not powering on, disconnect that battery, see if it, it powers on. If it does and you're not getting it to power on with the power button, check the flex first because the flex is right there. And then if not, uh, test the, the, uh, the trackpad. The trackpad to test it, you don't even have to put it on. So what, I didn't have one here. Uh, but if you did have another trackpad, just order the trackpad, and you can just test it right out here without disassembling the device. Because this trackpad, to change it, you got to remove the battery, and that battery is glued down. A little bit of a, a little bit of a pain to do that. So you can test that trackpad right over the top. So we're all hopefully going to run this rest of the test, and it's going to be good to go. We'll have one happy camper. Because he did need this. This was a rush service. So he wanted to see, kind of needed it back soon. Of course, if it was going to be a mother of repair, then that was going to take some time. Or if we had to order parts, that was going to take some time. So we may be in luck uh, with this customer. And that's what's going on tonight at PC911.